Mayo let off the hook. Eight and a bit minutes since Dublin last scored in this All-Ireland semi-final. That gets away from Rory O'Carroll, Michael Conroy there, free to Mayo. Very brave, really, really brave by Michael Conroy. Here's the goal chance. He was been fouled, got the advantage. What a terrific shot he is. Clark beaten, no doubt, but it's just an inch or two too high. Rattles off the crossbar and out to safety. It's a great shot by uh, Paul Flynn. Really deserved the goal. He had uh, Clark beaten, no doubt about it. Now, who's down injured? One of the Mayo players. The uh, It's Lee Keegan. They've already lost Colin Boyle, their first choice left half back because of a virus. And Lee Keegan has gone down and they've signalled into the line that he's going to have to come off. I didn't Richie see it, Feeney but it's is serious. Getting ready yeah. to come in. It does look, he looks to be very uncomfortable. He was the player who was marking Flynn. Oh dear, oh dear. Yes. Uh, I don't want to look at that anymore. Yeah. yeah. Richie Feeney. Sometimes, believe it or not, they can be snapped back in quite nicely. I'd rather you didn't tell me about that. <laughs> and life goes on. Uh, they won't want to lose another uh, half back, that's for sure. Yeah, they've noticed as well, haven't they? Yeah, the doctor is with them. Well, it's had a blood sub or a temporary sub, or a dislocated finger sub, but Richie Feeney is on for the moment. For Lee Keegan. What will Pat Gilroy be thinking now? Pat Gilroy will be just delighted that they've got a few handy frees to get them off the board, uh, get, get, get them going. Because they it's scored from play. Yeah, exactly, and that's the point I was going to develop, that they're, they're actually not playing well up front. Uh, this kind of... Um, Big push on from uh, the Leinster Championship and the quarterfinal that we were expecting uh, hasn't happened. And it really is reflected if you examine the Dublin uh, scorers in the Championship. Their second top scorer, Kevin McManaman, is on the bench. Their top scorer by a mile, of course, is Bernard Brogan. And then you have the likes of Cluxton in there. As He's their fourth top scorer. He's their fourth top scorer. So they do have problems when, uh, when they don't fire, when McMenamin isn't on the field, when Jeremy Connolly isn't firing. They do have problems. And, of course, Alan Brogan rolls in generally with a point or two. They don't have that just presently. You know, there's oxygen and everything being uh, given to Lee Keegan as he has that finger topped back into place. This is where it happened. Killian O'Connor has had to wait a long time. He has this uh, free to come in. If you remember back several minutes to the foul by Rory O'Carroll, we've had five points in this match and only one has come from open play. That was Michael Conroy's. Yeah, that's a real pity for him, Dara. You know, he's, he's scored a point in every match he's played. He is a scoring uh, wing back for Mayo and it's, a, it's another uh, option that they've lost. And yeah, he's been ever present. He, go back to the FPD League. He's played every minute for Mayo this year. Now, Killian O'Connor. Flawless from the 45s. Just draw this in. He's put too much on it. Wide. That's their third wide. and you just saw the gesture, where am I going to kick this to? Mayo managed to uh, decode the Dublin kickouts in that league game at the end of March. It's drilled low and taken by Dennis Bastic, he left it after him though. Three which Ger Brennan will take. Here on Kilkenny trying to get free up the field. Shorter option is to Kevin Nolan. Richie Feeney there with him has been playing in attack in the half forward line in their training matches, but coming in at half back for the injured Lee Keegan. Brennan gets another go further up the field. Michael Dara McCauley. Barry Moore in there with him, and McCauley 
has the beating of him, or does he, for pace. Kieran Kilkenny. Little jink from Kilkenny. Need this. Haven't scored from play, and he's put it wide. And the poor Dublin shooting continues in front of those posts. Yeah, for a player of uh, young Kilkenny's ability, proven ability at underage level for sure. This I would consider an easy enough one for him because he is both feet, very, very good on both feet. And he just pulls it, just a little bit of tension in their game still. A reminder, you can enjoy all of this again at 9.30 tonight with Des Cattle and his panel on the Sunday game here on RTE2. Kevin McLaughlin, Mayo enjoying it more at the moment and that precise ball in and Conroy's out in front of Fitzsimons again, the cooler man in a spot of honour, Conroy from Davids. And he's been penned into the corner, now it's Alan Dillon, he's got some space. Dillon for Mayo has helped too, Dillon's still going, goes with the fist and puts it over the bar. Great play from Alan Dillon. He's in all-star form as well. Mayo lead by four points to two. Well, it's all about the angle here that he takes the ball off. Uh, Conroy knows exactly what he wants to do. He's not passing it. Fists over, lovely, because he has two great hands. Alan Dillon can fist with left or right at his ease. Dublin still trying to get things going. Kieran Kilkenny out in front of Kevin Kane. They haven't scored since the fifth minute of this All-Ireland semi-final. Space for Michael Darren McCauley to try and attack, and he's run straight into the wall of Aidan O'Shea. And now Barry Moran takes it clear. Moran putting angle on the ball to let Killian O'Connor get out in front of Rory O'Carroll, which he's done. Here's Alan Dillon popping up all over the place. Enda Barley is calling for it. And now joining the attack is Richie Feeney. Barry Moran, and Moran has slotted that one over. They are Absolutely flying after an edgy first few minutes, particularly in their defence. They've taken control and they lead 5-2. Well, you can see the influence Alan Dillon is beginning to put on proceedings. He's getting on a lot of ball. He distributes very well, rarely gives it away. Gets it out to the wing, nice little interchange. And Barry Moore, that would be great for his confidence. A midfielder come up and bang it over the bar. And listen to the Mayo supporters here. Such a long time since Dublin last scored. They're two points, both from freeze. Mayo put over five in a row without reply. Now Jer Brennan trying to change things up front. Bernard Brogan is looking for it. Brennan still going. Decided to take on Vaughan close in, and the ball touched on the ground. It's a free out. It's a free out. Well, it was a great drive by Brennan. Fantastic drive. And just couldn't connect at the end, and there's the touch on the ground that he's called up. Not 100% sure that he did, but he couldn't get it back out to an attacker. Alan Dillon. Given straight to James McCarthy. Just dragged back Kevin McLaughlin, happy to give away the free in that position. And Mayo reset things at the back. Here on Kilkenny. Gets away from Jason Doherty. Bernard Brogan is calling for it. Kilkenny sizing up the options. Taking a fair bit of time over this, Darty was persistent, he got some space though. Dear McConley, the players all bunched together, that's Barry Moran behind him, Conley missed one from this sort of position earlier, but he's nailed that one. That's their first point from play in the 22nd minute, and their first point in this match for 17. Well, patience surely is a virtue. I thought the chance was going to go away, it was very lateral, it was very slow. And then they get it to Conley, and that's what he's able to do, Dara. Brilliant left foot, right over the bar. Keith Higgins sending that one up high. Killian O'Connor pretty good in the air, so is Rory O'Carroll. After the flop from O'Connor, free out. Will that Conley point be the spark that they have been waiting for? They feel there's a big game in them. Hanging Fennel. Cafferty there with Bernard Brogan and he just helped Brogan out of the way. Brogan has lost, lost his right boot. Aidan O'Shea, Barry Moran. Now Richie Feeney given space to attack Dublin. Feeney goes out to Alan Dillon, got one with the fist earlier on. He's given that loads, Alan Dillon, and he slotted that one over. Brilliant point. Huge score, six points to three. Second for Dylan. Well, again, what I like about this is when you see a 
Feeney coming into the attack. He is a defender, wouldn't be the most accurate man in the world. He understands that, he understands his role, and throws it back out, and Dylan over the bar. Let's go down to the sideline and join Marty Morrissey. Well, Jerry, just an update on Lee Keegan's injury. I've just been in the Mayo dressing room. The doctors have examined him. He either has a dislocated or a fractured finger. He will play no further part in this All-Ireland semi-final and is being brought to hospital for examination. Marty, thanks very much. Here's Dennis Bastic of Dublin getting no change out of Aidan O'Shea. Brilliant from Aidan O'Shea. And Dennis Bastic seemed to react a little with the Mayo midfielder. Hey, O'Shea is well up for this. Yeah. I've never seen him as uh, animated and energised. He's chasing everything down, pushing up very high in the tackle. He's well, he's well up for it. They're quite a, a duo, aren't they, O'Shea and Moran? Kevin Midlock. could turn out well from a Mayo point of view. Brennan was conscious of where Chris Barrett was as he got to that. Rory O'Carroll charging out, surging out, fouled on the way out. And O'Carroll gets on with it quickly. Kevin Nolan has scored three points in this year's championship. Dermot Connolly finally opening his account and looking for another one. Connolly. He's a streaky sort of player and the confidence is up two in a row for him. Is he going to put in another Tyrone performance from last year? Missed his first one, but he's got these two. Yeah, and a funny, a funny matchup. Aidan O'Shea was matching him there in defence, which wouldn't be his strong suit, I'd suggest. And Connolly comes off him with no problem whatsoever, six, seven metres of distance. And as you absolutely correctly said, streaky player, when he gets into the zone, he'll shoot, shoot very accurately sent off this year, was left out of the team, but back in and determined to take his chance. Barry Moran was competed with there by Eamon Fennell, and now Michael Darren McCauley, and all of a sudden there's a different feel about them. Kane is there, Michael Darren McCauley, they've nobody in the centre, but now Kieran Kilkenny is there. Can he get his eye in, Kieran Kilkenny? Yes, he can. There is a different feel about them, and they're closing the gap, just one behind, and that's his first point in championship football, senior championship football. Yeah, well worked by Michael Darren McCauley, you'd have to say. That's the one he would have liked to recycle every time when he comes into contact, brings it out to Kieran Kilkenny. Now, that's what he can do. That's a fantastic score. Off balance, a lot of pressure on the shot, and he still swings it over the bar. One point game, and it really has uh, upped in tempo now. We have a right good, a right good game in, in front of us. Kieran Kilkenny, number 26, scoring in the 26th minute of this All Ireland semi final. Six minutes since Mayo last score. Oh, it's three indeed, that was the Dillon point of Dublin starting to look more menacing. Here's Bernard Brogan, he's got away from Caffrey James McCarthy in. McCarthy has to go back, Brogan blocked down brilliantly, but another man arriving, it's Cullen. Brogan still wants it again, but Mayo able to keep Dublin out. The crossbar denied them earlier, but Mayo, their persistence and their tigerish defending and blocking got them out of trouble there. Killian O'Connor, Kevin McLaughlin. And McLaughlin going long and again Conroy is the go-to man. Keen O'Sullivan was closest to him on that occasion and Rory O'Carroll comes away with it. Dennis Bastic. Foul by McLaughlin. He's happy enough to do that and just reset the defense. It. Yeah. yeah. Just dragging back Nolan. Kevin Nolan. Paul Flint. No way through there. Push on Killian O'Connor, Mayo free. Alan Dillon, remember they came into this game without Andy Moore and their captain and their main sort of go 